Hello, I'm Chris King. I'm the Plant PAX Migration Business Development Manager. We know users today have challenges when they have to go from a legacy system and move it over to a modern DCS such as Plant PAX. We have a lot of chance for improvement. And what I'd like you to do is think about what improvements you could have if you changed your legacy system to a new modern system and all the things it could bring for you. For example, you could have 5% more production. You could have 20% less unscheduled downtime. You could have 50% less safety incidents that happen in the plant. You could have 25% uh, less spares needed because you have a brand new system. Those are some of the things I want you to think about while we go through this presentation. I'd like to introduce my friend Ping Hua Zhao. Ping Hua is a global process technical consultant with Rockwell, and his role within Rockwell is to be our, our more apex migration specialist. So, Pingwa, I know, as I said, we have users that know there's challenges when it comes from taking a legacy system and moving into a modern DCS such as Plant PAX. I'd like you to go through some of those challenges and some of the things that really help get those users over to the new system and what they'll do for you. Sure, yes. When you have an uh, opportunity to migrate a legacy system into a modern DCS system, so you always have a choice to have a rip and replace or you have a face the migration. And in some cases, the rip and replace you know, takes time and the money, then you can't afford to do that. Then that's the reason we have lots of tools to easy the migration. So let me show you what we have in our system, uh, the tools and the, and the service we provided. So in, in this particular system here, in the APAC system we talked about, uh, we have designed a special module called the APAC IO Skin. So that special module is sitting in our ControlLogix chassis and it's talking to the ControlLogix controller uh, through the back pan. Uh, so it's very fast and reliable. And on the other hand, it has an IO bus goes to the legacy system, APAC system here. So through the IO bus, it's talking to the IO. So with this module, so you can have an opportunity to retain your old IO module. So that way when you when, when the time is right, you can replace the I.O., but when you have uh, starting the migration, you may want to still using the older I.O., but you want to get, get rid of the old legacy controller with put a modern controller, controller objects here, then it's fully utilized the new features and the functionality of the modern controller, but still retain the I.O. So this is the I.O. bus we designed for that particular purpose. So another beauty of this I.O. scanner we have is the the mode we have. We have two modes to allow you to have a master mode, which we just talked about, to take control of the ACM, control all those I.O. modules. Another mode we call shadowing mode. Shadowing mode will give you opportunity to listen to the I.O. module communication. So in that case, the legacy DCS still works, but the new controller is sitting there, goes through the I.O. scanner module, listen to communication on the I.O. bus. So you can have your new converted logics running in this controller. And at the same time, feed those information, your converted logic and the I.O., the old legacy I.O. into historic, do a comparison. So after your comparison, your logics meet the requirements you want, then you can have a very safe switch. At that time, it's really helping you to mitigate the risk. When you switch the new logic, you already know that your logic has been proved. When the time comes, you want to uh, switch out to the old I.O. module. So we have designed a special cable. So those are prefabricated cable, we designed a specific for Apex controller. So what you need to do, uh, unplug this cable from the Apex and the plug in the new cable. So that way, you don't need to lift the field I.O. All those things are not touched, but the, all the signal, instead of it goes to the I.O. module, the legacy I.O. module, now it goes to the new I.O. module. So this really help you to uh, mitigate the risk of the switching the field I.O. into the new I.O. platform. Another thing I want to talk about is the OPC. So we all know the OPC can talk into the legacy controller, but in this particular settings we have here, the OPC is right reside in a chassis mounted computer. So in this computer, you run the OPC talking to the legacy system. On the other hand, through the back plane, it sends information to our logics controller. Because of this setting, it's allow you to have 
uh, still have the old ACM running, but you can have the HMI go directly, go to the controller. So the benefit of that is allow you to have new graphics, which is our Plan PX a process library object. So this is the graphics I'm showing here. So you can see the legacy DCS system uh, still working there, but the display will be the uh, new Plan PX process object. So this is really help you to cut your cost to develop the graphics twice. Uh, that way when you fully transfer to the new controller, then you don't need to redevelop your graphics again. And of course, if you want, you still can uh, still maintain the OPC and uh, running the OPC directly to the legacy system. So in this particular example we have here is uh, using the old legacy uh, face plates, but it's uh, still on the Fashion Talk View uh, platform, but we're using the old legacy uh, face plates. So the operator, when they switch into the new system, they still have a period of time have uh, helped them the easy transition. So they have the same look and the feel of the older system. So that will be uh, uh, no surprise. So those will be help them easily transfer into the new system. So Chris, those are the tools and the services we provided to our customer to uh, help them to the migration. Excellent. Well, thank you, Pingwa. Um, one thing, I really love the, uh, the hardware features that we have to help for migrating from one system to another. But let's talk a little bit about the conversion software capability, how you convert the database. Yeah, thank you. Uh, actually, we uh, provide a service to our customer. So what we can do is uh, converting their uh, formation configuration uh, to our new Logix platform. So we're converting uh, SFC, so we're converting uh, ladder logic. We're also converting function blocks. So that way, when they give us their configuration, we will convert it into the new platform uh, code for them. Uh, and on the other side, on the HMI side, we can uh, help them to converting the graphics into the factory talk view uh, format. Uh, those will be uh, all free service to our customers. This will really help them to uh, ease that migration and have a smooth transition. Well, that's excellent. That, so much is free. That's, that's really good. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much for your time. I'd like to, again, leave you with the thought, how can you improve on your existing legacy APAC system? And if you move to Rockwell's Plant PAX, there's all, chance, all kinds of chances to do improvements, such as better production, less safety incidents, and less spares in your system. So I hope you consider some of these things when you're looking at your modernization path going forward. And I want to thank you for your time today.